Alrighty YouTube, assuming you've read the title of this video, welcome to me attempting to lower my S10 in one day. This is an 87 S10, it's really nothing crazy and they're kind of known to be a bit of a monster truck from factory. As you can see my wheel gap in the rear is ridiculous and the front is a little bit better looking because this truck is swapped with a small block 305 on four cylinder springs and it's kind of weighing it down. So the plan here today is I have a set of Beltec 2100 2 inch drop spindles. Those should just go right into the front. Assuming that this rusty pile of garbage will actually come all apart that I can do it in the amount of time I want to. And then for the rear, I have these giant steel four inch blocks and U-bolts, which should level it out pretty good. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with the front because that's gonna be the hardest. Just for reference, it is 834 on Saturday, July 9th. Let's just see how fast we can do this. I may as well grab a before shot too. Okay, she's floating, let's pop the wheels off. Spindle nuts off. Pro tip when you can't get the cotter pins out, just shear them with the bolt. Oh, now it's for the fun part of trying to get these things to separate. Usually you can get away with a BFH. Oh, that's not good. Okay, there's the top. Might be able to get the bottom with this one too, actually. Ha ha! Big tools, they really help. This should just get out of the way. Sweet. Wee! See if we can get that cotter pin out of that hole. Boom. I don't remember that ever being an issue. I realize at ride height a lot of this doesn't really matter, but it is nice to be able to have your range of motion when you have the truck jacked up. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other side. I'm hoping this side goes a little faster. Ugh. I'm never doing ball joints any other way. This is awesome. There we go. Neat. Okay, let's go put the rotors on. Let's see how much of a pain in the ass this is gonna be though. In a perfect world, I'd be replacing most of these parts, but because I just wanna do it fast, we're just gonna use everything old. Hey, these are actually in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see if whoever actually put these together did them nicely. Everyone sets up wheel bearings a little differently, but sometimes, aha, 
You did do these ones nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's hope the other one is this nice to me. Wee. The seals are well enough intact. Can we be lucky twice? Yay! Someone actually did these wheel bearings properly. Wee. Wee. Let's get rid of this uh, shipping grease. probably grease these bearings too but I just really don't have the time or care. Everyone does their wheel bearing setup a little different. I like to get it by hand, give it a good quarter turn just to get some seating action in there. And we'll back it off, go finger tight and then the closest notch. There we go. Good amount of spin. No play. I am still gonna have to adjust my toe, but we're gonna do that at the very end because it's kind of a pain in the ass and I'm not expecting it to go well. Okay, to the back. So I am stupid and I cut those U-bolts before I took the shock off, which is gonna be a pain in my ass. Hey. I guess I'm doing a brake line today too. Shit. Hey, um, do you guys stock like uh, specific brake lines for vehicles? I love lowering the backs of these things. It's so easy. Okay, well this has created two problems. The blocks I have in here are too tall for the U-bolts that I have, and my drive shaft is currently almost pushed all the way into my transmission with the suspension sagged all the way down, which is not good. We're gonna have to put in three inch blocks and just leave it for now. That's lame. a little better. All right, the lowering kit is done. I gotta go out and get a brake line to replace that one. Uh, and then I still have to do my toe adjustment up front, but the lowering kit's done and it is now just past noon, it looks like. When did I start, 8.30? I guess that's pretty good for dogging it. I'm gonna go to the parts store, I'll be right back. Can't believe I broke this brake line. What an idiot. Uh. 
air bubbles. This thing should be good to drop back on the ground. Oh, I like those wheels. They're small, but I love them. There she is all on the ground. The wheels definitely look a little small and they're kind of giving a red, white, blue American vibe even though I live in Canada, but the ride height's pretty good. I'll give you the official after shot from this morning. Okay, there's what she looks like before. I suppose I should put the other wheels on for a proper before and after, but what time did I check the clock? It was like 8.30 this morning. It is now just past 1.30 for a full lowering kit. Hell yeah. Okay, here it is back on the wheels I had on it before. As you can see, that sits a hell of a lot better. It's not as low in the back as I would have wanted because I wasn't able to use the four inch blocks, but that's still pretty good. Obviously, I still need to go through the front and set the toe and get it to an alignment shop to do it properly. Either way, I proved the point that you can lower a truck in a day if you have the ambition. Man, that sits so much nicer. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.